and I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. I've been having this thought. I've been doing my color diffusions. People are doing color infusions, injections. They put the white underneath the paint. And I'm thinking, what is it that really gives us cells? Flip cups do it. Ring pours, not so much until we stretch it out or until we swipe. Although we're always fighting against the air bubbles, is air really our friend when it comes to getting cells? This is what I've been thinking of in my head. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something and I'm going to use this nice little gadget. It's actually an ice cube tray, but for like thick, deep ice cubes. Um, and I've um, put some OGX coconut serum inside to help me get that paint out afterwards. And I'm just going to go for it. Uh, I've got some colors here. And let me see, make sure I have you even higher now. So you can hopefully see more of... Oops, sorry. It was late, late light time, but... Or during the daytime, but I don't know if that's really giving you all that much better lighting. I'm going to move the other one over. But anyway, I have this... Move this over a little bit. I'm going to start with a little bit of white. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to do the full. I'm just going to kind of make some X's in here of the white. I'd like to try to... This is probably still going to go to the bottom, but hoping for gaps. I'm still going to try to maybe do, after I flip this over... Um, do the white in between. I really like that separation look I got with uh, my open ring pores. I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to go with, this is, I just mixed it up today, Liquitex. It's the ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to, oops, don't be sloppy, Monica. Just going to put some of that in there. And I need to make sure I have enough paint. When you have these cup things, I'm really not quite sure how, how much they hold. Which can, I messed you up a little bit. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of the Mysterious Iridescent, the Art Mines. This is a really kind of a neat color, and I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit of that color to mix nicely with the Ultramarine Blue. And then I have the Liquitex Cad Cadium Yellow Medium Hue. I'm using colors and that will are nice, but also you know make a form of a green. <laughs> oh, this bottle is giving. Let's plug it up. So let's try to. I don't want to pour too much. Try to fix that. Um, and then I'm going to go with um, this is Deco Art Kelly Green. with that yellow should just make a lighter green. And then I'm going to go with just a little bit of copper. I love copper with the green. I like bronze with the green. And then I'm going to do it again. Maybe a tiny bit of white for separation. Just a little bit.
actually going to try to poke what's ever plugging this thing out. Sometimes the sides just build up a bit. Hopefully that does it. Yep. And I think I'll actually add a little bit of the copper here and then the green. So here's my thing. Is air and air bubbles really our friend? I mean, we have torches, we have skewers we can use to pop them. We shouldn't be really too afraid of them. We just don't want them in our final our final painting. We don't want divots. We don't want you know, splotches of white that came out from the white air bubble or something. So, I'm actually going to take this straw and I'm going to blow some air into these. Whoa, <laughs> that could have been really bad. See the cells? I am thinking, ooh, it's a lot of green. This is going to be interesting. Oh, sorry, I have a 10 by 10 canvas that I've already uh, taped on the back and put in my push pins. I made sure my canvas was level and my tray was level. Let me just that. Now the OGX helps a little bit. It's not as nice as the spraying the WD-40 silicone spray as far as having a the paint kind of come, come out. I don't know. I always see people pat the bottom, so I don't know if that really does anything. <laughs> but I'll play my little drums. Come out, come out, come out. Uh, I was hoping for the separation with these uh, the parts in between the ice cube trays, but I don't think that's going to happen because of the paint. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and let it drip. Little circular designs. Pretty good. So a lot of interesting cells. Um, just gonna torch it a bit. And actually, look. Make sure. Yeah. I actually, need to move this up and over. I did notice I was still a little further back from you when, as far as seeing me tilt and stuff. So. I pulled up and the paint kind of flopped down, so this is just to kind of get the initial air bubbles and just to kind of warm up my paint a little bit. I know it's not cold to the rest of the world, but it's been kind of chilly in sunny California. I'm just going to warm up that paint a little bit. Now, let's see, I'm going to put a little bit of white just to have something for this to flow on. I wanted the cells to kind of form with the colors and the metallics that I used, not the white. So that's why I didn't go heavy on the white, and that's why I didn't go with a white base. Um, I got some for me. Serving thing. Just 
going to use it to oops, stretch out my white a little bit. Just so it knows where to go. I'm really liking the design of the cells now, so. And normally I look to see what I like and what I don't like, and I, I like it all. But this is kind of heavy, just blue and green, where these got the yellow spots, but they all have the color in it. So I think I'm just going to start moving this around and just seeing what I have here. I didn't want to go over yet, but that's okay. Now this is already larger cells than I normally get, so I'm trying to figure out. I am seeing like air bubbles, but again, those can just be taken care of with a poke of a skewer, and then I will go back up on the torch again. I'm going to go this in first. I want that white to spill off, but then I want to hold the color. It's interesting. I'm trying to think where that orange came from <laughs> maybe that art minds mysterious actually has like a hint of red or something in it maybe but i like it back in the middle this is my last corner and I do like that orange green blue right there so I'm going to make sure that I don't lose that and plenty of paint so. all right now I got to get everything not to look so stretched out although it is Kind of cool looking. All right. Check my corners, my sides. Wet my hands and I'm gonna torch again because I do see air bubbles. I want the bigger straw because I wanted it wanted to be a little and I actually thought that the smaller one would be a stronger force. But um I do like the larger one. I think it gave a strong air force into the paint, but without although I didn't look Maybe it did splatter on me. <laughs> Sorry, these are my painting clothes now. So let me torch again. So I do see air bubbles. And I'm going to do a good job across them. I didn't do my timer. 
don't want it too high. Sometimes those little air bubbles pop though in there. They're just kind of like texture. Don't necessarily hate them. Like, looks like I got some little yellow cells that are popping from the uh, air bubbles and they're coming up yellow. Which is why I didn't want it like a white base. I wanted it to be very little white and then the rest being color so I had a better chance of when the air bubbles pop that the color would come up and not the white. Okay. So let me look. I don't see anything huge, huge. I saw air bubbles before, but I'm really liking the design. But of course, you know, it has my green and not as much yellow, which um, I was careful not to do too much anyway because it can dominate. So, mm -hmm. I'm liking it. I like the amount of cells I got on this. So, I'm going to try it again. Do a different color combination, maybe like a blue, red, and purple. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm wondering if it is this thing about air that we really need to get the cells and, and then just have to make sure we can handle them on the canvas afterwards as far as making sure we get rid of them. But even again, like I said, it's sometimes if they pop when they're drying, it's just texture. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the thumbs up. Give me a like for this video. Uh, share it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know whoa, what you think about my air explosion. My air, air series. I'm going to call it my air series and see how it goes. Let me give you a quick close up. So you can see, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and turn off that light for the close-up because I noticed there was a lot of glare. Part of my arm. Last time, and I'm hoping there's enough with the camera and the side light for you to see. And if not, I'll adjust on my next video. But yeah, I get the uh, kind of spider web lacing. And I only kind of blew you know, a little bit into them. So I'm wondering if I add more air, how that'll be. But the size of the cells are bigger for me than I've had. So yeah, I'm gonna try it again. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure all my sides and everything are covered off camera. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.